Connor Gallagher, Chelsea midfielder, he's been linked with the move to Tottenham for this entire season. I feel like that's the club that have wanted him the most. But Newcastle have now entered the race as well, and they're going to compete to sign him. Now, I think if you're Connor Gallagher, you should stay at Chelsea. Me personally, like that's what I would want to do if I'm him. But he only has a year left on his contract. So if he doesn't sign a new deal, Chelsea has to cash in on him because I do think you can make some decent money from selling Conor Gallagher. And I don't think he's as shit as people might believe he is. I think he's a decent player. I definitely think he has value. And I think he's an important piece to a squad. I don't want him starting week in, week out, which he does at the moment for Chelsea. But I think to bring him off the bench and to start the occasional game, why wouldn't you want a Conor Gallagher in your side? He could play as a CM. CDM or a 10. He could play all across the midfield in all three of those positions. And I think he does a decent job as well. But, you know, Chelsea, they may have to raise funds this summer. So Conor Gallagher may be a player that you move on from. Now, if he goes to Newcastle, all that that tells me is that Bruno Gimmerich is going to be leaving. Because if you sign Conor Gallagher, where do you play him? Because Sandro Tonali is going to be back next season. So are you going to have a midfield three of Bruno Gimmerich, Sandro Tonali, and Conor Gallagher? I don't really think so. I think those three players are all best in a pivot. Are you going to buy Conor to play as your 10? I mean, maybe that's what Newcastle are thinking. But that doesn't really make too much sense to me. I think his best position is as an 8, not a 10. I don't really like when Chelsea play him up there, but they've had to because Nkunku's been injured damn near all season. So, yeah, we'll see. But I don't know. I think Tottenham maybe makes the most sense. It's just, would he want to go to a rival of Chelsea's? He's been at Chelsea since he's like 10 years old or something like that. So maybe Tottenham to him aren't even an option. And Newcastle, I think their owners, they have to start making some big name signings. And I don't necessarily think that Conor Gallagher is a big name signing. And it all depends on how much he's going to cost as well. Because if you have Newcastle and Tottenham both making bids for him, the price is going to go up. And I already think that you're going to probably have to pay like over $50 million to sign this guy. And to me, he's maybe a $35, $40 million max kind of player. And I think that he can do well at these two clubs maybe even more at Tottenham because of the system that Ange Postacoglu plays. But, eh, I, I'm, I'm not too sure. But, yeah, Newcastle, they got to make some moves, though, because you're taken over by the Qataris or the Saudis, whichever one it is, and you haven't really made that many big-name moves. And I think even though Newcastle have ended the season pretty well because they were sitting, like, ninth or 10th, and now they're, like, 7th or 6th, like, they're around there. You have to start splashing the cash. Like, you have to find out how Man City are able to get away with their FFP regulations and do the same thing. Because I think you're going to end up risking fans not really being happy with what they're seeing. But what do I know? What do I know? Let's see. Let's say, so Decker says Tottenham need them. Yeah, I mean, their midfield's not that good. You know uh, what? They're still playing Hoiberg. You got Saar in there. Yeah, I think he he could do a good job at Tottenham. And and, and I think the way that uh, Pastacoglu likes to play in terms of his players just run, 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 high motors, that fits exactly what Conor Gallagher is. But why would you want to go to Tottenham, though, from Chelsea? I mean, at Chelsea, you've had some success, right? Or did he join them after they had their little arrow Thomas Central? Yeah, actually, I don't think he was a part of their success because he was at Crystal Palace when Chelsea were cooking. Oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah, that sucks. He, yeah, he came to Chelsea, or he came back to Chelsea week after they became trash. Damn. Nah, but, but they do, though. They do, bro. I completely agree with you. Tottenham do need a midfielder, but I think if Newcastle sell Bruno Gimmerich, then they will also need a midfielder. So let's just see what happens.